So another conversation then to really have here for, for someone that might come, I'm anticipating the questions. You know, this seems overwhelming to get this amount. Would you step load them Absolutely. a little bit and say, you know what, if that doesn't work for you and you can get in a hundred grams instead of 120, if that is your quality of life and you are, are, are eating much more than you were, do what you can mm -hmm. and then build up from there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we look at little hacks of how do we increase our protein intake, right? Yes, yeah, share. Share yeah. some. <laughs> so most women will get up and have a hot drink, usually coffee. Yeah. So that's why I talk about protein coffee. Um, it can't be hot because if you stir protein powder into a hot beverage, it glugs and stress. Yes. But if we're looking at stirring protein powder into your cold milk of choice mm -hmm. and then adding your coffee and putting it in the fridge overnight, you have a cold latte in the morning. You drink it, you get your latte fix and 30 grams of protein. So you're is starting to there. This is just water, <laughs> but okay. down there. Oh, right. <laughs> we um, already had that yeah. one. <laughs> and then other women are like, well, I'm too full. What do I do? It's like, well, you can split your breakfast, right? So if you're looking at having eggs, scrambled eggs um, on sprouted grain toast and you might have some nuts or something with it and you're looking at having a 40 gram protein meal, you can split it before and after training. Because then you're able to fuel your training. You're able to have access to 40 grams of protein, but you don't get overly full. Mm. So Brilliant. Uh, there's lots of ways of looking at what we're doing. It's the education component that comes with it. Okay. So what I'm hearing you say through all of these questions is there, there aren't specific absolutes. There's always a different situation that might someone might fall into. And the purpose here, again, as we close out this wonderful podcast, move, do something that you love, add in these strong components of protein, high intensity interval training, heavy strength training, but the heavy strength training, you know, there, there's different ways that you can do that that's appropriate for different women. And really just use these principles to improve the quality of your life so that we are independent and we are are living our best life independently and through decades to come. Correct. I love it because it's not a training block. We're yeah. not in a short-term training block for an event that's six months away. We're looking at how are we doing daily changes to be more powerful and strong and independent as we age.